Here's how to get stronger in your end range of shoulder external rotation, isometrically. Today I'm gonna to demonstrate Pales Rails in the Americana stretch position. So for this, you're gonna just need a block, a pad, a pillow, something similar, and you're gonna lay down prone. If you're not on like comfortable flooring, grab something, a pillow or something for your head. What you're gonna do, lying prone, we're just gonna see how far can we kind of comfortably bring our shoulder into end range, shoulder ER passively, right? If you were a baseball player, if you're part of a population where you have a large amount of end range, shoulder ER, maybe you would use two, but I think for most people starting out, you can probably just use one block, stack it horizontally or vertically. And so for Pales Rails, this is going to comprise of three components, a stretch, a push, and a pull. So the stretch, also these three are variable, so depending on your goals, you can customize them. But for the stretch, all you're going to do is lie face down and try and simply be present in the tissues that are actually being brought into that end range. So you might feel a bit of a stretch. It might require you to maybe play around with maybe the elbow position. Maybe you feel a greater stretch in the back of that shoulder when you bring it down. Maybe when you bring it out, maybe you have to play with the position of your elbow in order to feel the best target tissue or the best line of stretch for you. But let's just say that a nice even 90 degrees is where you feel it. You would stretch for a prescribed period of time, improving that passive range of motion. Pales is isometrically strengthening you, pushing out of a stretch, and rails is pulling deeper into the stretch. Both isometric, you won't move, but it's a conscious effort. So for the pales effort, you'll take a deep breath in, trap that air low, push, drive your elbow down, and picture like you're arm wrestling arm wrestling trying to crush this mat it's not going to move crush the block it's not going to move and pretend like you're pushing down on a scale ramping up at an intensity that's relative to your goals maybe it's five percent maybe it's ten percent maybe it's ramping up to 60 or 70 percent the higher of a contraction the higher effort that you push down the more of a contraction you're going to feel spilling over into more of your tissues thus creating more of a full body effort, if you're pushing down at an intensity greater than, say, 50 to 60%, that should be spilling over into your upper body and eventually into your lower body, creating this big, large, global, isometric effort, pushing down. And when you're ready, you can change the effort, once again, still driving the elbow down, but trying to lift your arm into even more shoulder external rotation. If you can't move up, well then that's great. That makes it an isometric, an isometric effort. Now, if you're able to lift up a great amount, if you're able to lift up like three, four, five inches, then simply prop up the height such that you're probably not gonna lift up maybe more than like an inch or so at the most. So rails becoming stronger in your end range, driving your elbow down, pulling up, and then you should feel this tissue in the back of that rear delt firing, driving, driving, two, one, relax.